guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you baby products that I regret buying and that were a waste of money for me because we never really used them. I decided to make this video the other day because I was going through my 15 month old baby's things and he is my third and final baby and there were things that I was throwing out or donating that I was thinking I never even used that I didn't use it for all three of my babies so these are things that I just feel were a waste of money for me I know some people will love the things that I'm going to talk about but for me they just didn't work at all um, so I thought I would share them with you because I'm always talking about things that you should buy for your baby I've made lots of videos in the past like baby essentials newborn essentials baby muscles tabs and toys my babies love so I will link all of those videos down below but then I thought maybe I should share with you the products that just really didn't work for us and just you know give you guys a heads up save you some money if you're new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you're seeing I would love for you to subscribe and stick around I post three videos a week mostly about motherhood and lifestyle and I would love to have you so yes without further ado let's get into it so the first product that I regret buying is a wipe warmer and I even feel silly saying that I bought that but there is a reason behind it all of my children were born in the winter months and sometimes at night those wipes are like ice cold and then I'm you know wiping my newborn baby and they would scream and they would hate it so I decided to invest in a wipe warmer because I read so many good reviews about it on Amazon but it just did not work for us I I bought it and I barely ever used it I had an issue with having an electrical thing on the changing table. I don't know, for me it would really get to me. I suppose I could have moved it, but there was like a wire and it was electric. You had to remember to top it up with water so that the wipes would stay moist. And also when you went to do a baby change, you would then turn it on. And sometimes the wipes weren't even warm enough, quick enough, if you know what I mean. So I found it much easier in the very early days to use warm water and like cotton pads. Um, so yes, I never actually ended up using the wipe warmer very much at all. The next product is one that I was given at my baby shower and being a mum of all boys you would think it would have been perfect but it is the Willy Wigwam or the PPTP is also known as. It's basically this little triangle bit of material that you will put over your baby's bits when you're changing them. Boys notoriously wee everywhere when the air hits them when you're changing them. So the idea is that you put this over your baby's bits um, when you're changing them and that will sort of catch any wee. Um, but I used it a few times and it was just really fiddly, it was quite small and then you would have to wash it and it was so small that it would get like lost in a duvet when you washed it um, and it just didn't work for us. I found it much easier to use like cotton pads again or I used a baby washcloths a lot so I would just put that on for my first son but by the second and third son I have seen so many like willies during changing I can tell what it looks like when it's about to wee and I would always be able to catch it with the nappy itself um, so that yeah, I just think it was a waste of money definitely a funny one like if you know someone's having a boy it's quite a quirky little gift the next product was a weaning product and we really didn't get on with it it was basically like this little mesh bag that was attached to a handle and the idea of it was that you could put like a banana in the mesh bag or blueberries or something like that and your baby could sit there holding the handle and like just getting bits of the mush through the mesh um, so that they wouldn't choke etc and I thought well that'd be great for them to hold on to it and then also like less worry of choking but to be honest it would get so messy I used it twice and it was so difficult to clean I put it in the dishwasher I put it in the washing machine as well on like a hot wash the banana and stuff just would not come off of the mesh and it would be stained and it would just be gross and then I was worried about how many germs were on like the mesh baggy bit so then I ended up chucking it and I was like well that was a waste of five pounds so I think it's much better to just give your baby a banana or blueberries sit right there with them making sure they're not gonna choke or cut it up or mash it up whatever makes you feel more comfortable the next thing that you really do not need is newborn shoes or baby shoes in general for that matter when I was pregnant with my first I bought these little adorable like converse in the smallest size you could possibly get them in I bought little vans I thought there's something about baby shoes that are just so adorable and cute and I even had them in my maternity bump shoot and everything They're just so cute, but 
Babies don't even walk at that age and they just look really uncomfortable when you put shoes on them. All they're gonna do is sit in the car seat or the buggy or like be on the floor. They really do not need shoes and I just think they look so uncomfortable. It was just a complete waste of money. In line with shoes, I would also not waste your money on expensive or designer um, and fiddly baby clothes. When I was pregnant with my first Fraser, we knew it was a boy and we bought little tiny newborn jeans, little newborn shirts, little like three month old shirts and like ties and like, oh, we just went to town with it. But it was a complete waste of money. You would put it on your baby once, it would be really fiddly. I think anything that has to go over their head as well is just like a no-no, they hate it. Um, and also when Fraser was tiny and he would wear a shirt, he would keep getting the, the collar of his shirts like on his like face and then he would try and like breastfeed the shirt and like oh it was just horrendous it was a complete waste of money and then as soon as i became a mum, i was like oh my gosh i just want him in a baby grow the next thing i wouldn't waste your money on is beige or neutral toys like when we were pregnant with fraser we were like we only want toys that match our decor and we ended up buying this really beige and white play mat some beige and white and wooden toys and things like that but there is a reason why you walk into someone's house that has children and there's like plastic colorful crap everywhere and that is because they love it they want all the colorful light up loud noised toys so as soon as our baby would like we'd lay him on the beige play mat he would literally be like so bored and it was a total waste of money i think it would actually be much better to wait till your baby is here and then when they're a couple months old take them to mother care or to kitty care or wherever it is and actually like put them under a few of the play mats that are all like laid out and see which one is their favorite. The next thing is scratch mitts. These were the bane of my life when I had a newborn. They just would not stay on my children. I much prefer the baby grows that have them built into the cuff. So you literally just pull them over and then they stay on all night. I would just use those in the evening and then in the day I would actually just let my baby have their hands. I thought it was quite nice that they would be aware of their hands and they would get to know it. I, I didn't want them to have mitts on at all times. Um, obviously you have to make sure that their nails are cut and things like that but I just really didn't get on with them I also didn't get on with washable breast pads I thought that they would be really good and as a breastfeeding mum for quite a long time I thought it'd be great to be able to have these stick them in the wash and then use them again but depending on how much you leak they are material so they would also get wet and then sometimes they would just leak through anyway and also with the disposable ones they have a sticky bit on the back which would like keep them in place but the uh, material ones didn't and they would slide everywhere and I just really didn't get on with them and again when I would wash them because they were so small I would like lose them in the wash and then I'd end up having one not the other and oh it was just a nightmare I much preferred using the disposable ones in the end the next product is a controversial one because I know so many people swear by it but I just absolutely hated it like even my sister thinks that this is like the best product ever for babies and that is the no aspirator or like mucus sucker outer um, so it's basically that like this contraption that you put up your baby's nose and then you can like get the mucus out of their nose because they can't blow their nose yet um, and I bought this and I just felt like I was torturing my children I hated it and they would cry and I would hate it um, I much preferred sort of wiping their nose and then using the saline spray up their nose I would find that that would help to like unblock their nose um, I just hated using the sucker thing but I know loads of people love it I just really hated it. The next product is one that I actually did use a few times for each boy, but then I found a different product that I liked far more, so I wanted to give you guys a heads up, I guess. And it is the Jolly Jumper, which is basically a thing that hangs in your doorway, and then you can put your baby into it. It has like a harness, and then they can jump around in the doorway. So I bought this because I thought it would be great for when I'm trying to like wash my face or you know get ready in the morning, but, you have to kind of be right there with them jumping just so you can watch them because their heads are so heavy they kind of swing into the door frame and once my baby like actually hit his head on the door frame and I actually think it was quite dangerous and then I bought the jumperoo which I much prefer because you get the same kind of thing you stick them in it they can jump around and go crazy but you don't have to worry about them hitting their heads and I found that my babies were much happier in the jumperoo than the jolly jumper another product that we never ended up using for all three of our children was a dummy or a pacifier and I got given quite a few at my baby shower and they've kind of just sat 
around and then I've ended up chucking them. None of my babies really wanted to take them um, and none of my babies were really that fussy, luckily. Um, or I think I became a bit of a human dummy, like I would just put them on the boob if they were upset. Um, so yeah, I would maybe wait to purchase dummies until your baby is actually here and then see if they need it or want it. Um, I don't know if you have to buy them before they're even here. The next products that I feel you may not need is a specific changing table. These can be quite expensive and my babies were so wriggly, they would only really be on them for a few months and then I would kind of change them on the floor because it was safer or if I was downstairs with them in the day I would just change them downstairs I wouldn't make a special trip up to the um, changing table so I don't think you specifically need a changing table just any kind of dresser will work or you know changing mat on the floor that's absolutely fine so just don't feel like you know you need the whole nursery set and similarly, I don't think you need to spend loads of money on a special or specific breastfeeding chair. You can get amazing rocking, sliding chairs with foot rests and all kinds of stuff on it. And if that's what you want, then that is absolutely fine. Like, they look amazing. But we didn't have loads of money for that, so we ended up getting a supportive chair from Ikea. It was about £150, um, and I really like it. Just make sure when you're buying a breastfeeding chair that your elbows sit well on the arms, and that is quite nice and supportive. The next item that was a complete waste of money for us was a Moses basket. My children must be super tall or something because they would only ever last in that for about six to eight weeks. Like it was such a short amount of time. And this third time round, we used the sleepy head and that was much better. Like he was in it for longer and it was really, really comfy and cozy. So yeah, I wouldn't waste money on a Moses basket unless, you know, that's something that you really want. I feel like I'm contradicting myself here because I've just said that I loved the baby sleepy head so much and I do. It's in my newborn essentials. I love it. But when Jackson got old enough, we bought the sleepy head grand because it was like the natural progression. If he slept well in the sleepy head baby one, surely he'll sleep well in the grand. So I spent a lot of money on it. I believe it was at 180 pounds. But then by that age, I put it in his big crib and he started rolling and he seemed to want to sleep with his arms out like this. And one night I took the grand out and then I just let him sleep in it like that and he slept better. Like he obviously wanted to be able to roll around and to stretch his arms out like this. So in the end, I ended up selling the sleepyhead grand on eBay and getting some of the money back but it was actually a waste of money for us. So just see what kind of baby they are. Like if they like to be really comfy cozy, even when they're like six to eight months, um, sure, like the grand will be great for them. But for us, he just really didn't like it. The next product is baby towels, those little hooded towels. And while we did use them for all three of our boys, I am donating so many perfectly good baby towels that our children just must not have been in them very long. I think they were in them for like three months at a time. Um, so, you know, you can just use any old towels on your babies, like they totally work. So don't feel like you have to have these special baby towels. Um, you know, it's just silly, isn't it? The things that you, you feel like you have to buy. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I would love for you to add things in the comments that you regret buying. I love reading all the comments and I love it when you guys all start talking to each other. I love reading the little conversations that you all have um, and the little community that we've got now on this channel. It's amazing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.